Hey guys, it's me Mark. Today, I'll be doing a full review on the Dart Zone Storm Squad. Now this is the first Dart Zone Blaster I've ever had. And this was given to me in Christmas, and it's really cool, and it packs a punch. Not just that, I even shot this thing in the middle of the night. This is middle, this is in the middle of the night, but it's still silent. <laughs> A sniper, a literal sniper. I'm gonna hit that sleeve over there. There we go. So yeah, with that all the way, let's talk about the design of this blaster. So it's a pistol-like blaster, and it has some cool decals on it. Uh, not really decals, but some dented textures on it, and it's really cool. On the front, here we have a oblong barrel, but when I press trigger, it centers the cylinder so it could fire a dart. And uh, behind this barrel here, this small muzzle-like barrel, is like um, this this piece here. It some sort of acts like a hop-up, and uh, uh, behind it is the four dart cylinder. Now, what's interesting about this cylinder or drum, depending on what you call it, if you look down through it, there is no dart post, which is interesting because if it doesn't have a dart post, then that means it could fire half length darts, which is very interesting. So, uh, with that all the way, we move on on the top of the blaster. On the top front of the blaster, we have a front sight, nothing special. Then, Behind that, here we have the priming handle. Now, on the top of the priming handle is a scope. Now, this scope is not removable nor adjustable. Uh, it's just a fix-in-place scope. Inside of it is uh, no clear plastic, just some thin crosshairs. Now, if we go to the full back of the blaster, here we would find this piece right here. Now, that is actually a priming rod or a part of it. And it acts like a priming indicator. It just indicates when you're already primed or not. Now below from the below from the priming handle, here we have the handle itself or the grip. The grip is fairly comfortable for a uh, for small hands, I guess, but it could fit a large hand too, based on some other reviews. And uh, it does have some textures in it. Uh, now we go to the trigger. Now this trigger has something interesting in it. So once you press the trigger, the barrel rotates. Now this is actually a great feature, especially in reloading, which it truly shines. Here, let me demonstrate. So folks, uh, there's something I forgot to mention about this uh, muzzle piece here. Uh, there's this slot here so you can reload the darts. And yes, I'm going to show you on why this feature is very useful. Especially in reloading. So I'll show you now. And because of this feature, you don't have to like uh, rotate this one at a time. All you, have, all, you got, all you gotta do is just press trigger and just put one dart. And uh, sometimes it does that. It sometimes jams up a bit. Although it's from my blaster. Um, I don't see it mostly often in some other reviews on this blaster, but so yeah. But fairly, it works well. Sometimes it just does that, like I said. So for the for the target, I've actually thrown away my target because it's beginning to because it's beginning to pile up all over the place. So instead, I'll be showing you my new target. And I'm not sure if you can see it, folks, but this leaf right here will be my target. It's small, but I've managed to use this as a target many times already, only with that uh, Storm Squad mostly, and also the extra kickback. In the package, uh, this thing comes with uh, four waffle tip darts, which is the first uh, special darts I've ever had, because it's from Dart Zone. Anyways, start. Uh, firing test, let's go. Uh, distance myself away. So that was a miss. Uh, my electric fan is not on, by the way. There we go, one hit, and another hit. This time, I'll show you my perspective of firing this blaster. So first, we've got reload once again. Once again, it's really easy to reload because of this uh, trigger, trigger to drum feature, so really cool. 
and we're ready to go. There we go. First hit. Um, hit the blue sleeve right there, so I don't. So it doesn't count as a hit, but yeah, I mean it hits. And there we go, another hit. Mostly two shots and two misses. So, uh, miss. Hit the blue sleeve, doesn't count. Hit on the sleeve. Hit on the sleeve again. And again, two hits, two misses. Huh, I'm not sure if that's a coincidence, but it's really cool. This time, folks, we're doing it faster. Although, when doing it faster, I usually tend to have a hard time priming this blaster because of my small hands, so instead I do it like a gangster mode by doing it like that. Anyways, firing. Oh. This time, folks, I'll be using the, the X-Shot uh, Air Pocket Technology darts on the Matrix Fire. See if, if it works well. And just to note, folks, whenever I reload the uh, the Storm Squad with the uh, with the Air Pocket Technology darts, uh, they tend to be a very not a tight fit, but a very light fit. So not not really that concerning, I guess, considering it doesn't fall off that the darts doesn't really fall off that easily. But I think this will have increased speed and hopefully accuracy. Anyways, firing first hit, second hit. Hit and missed. Well, seems like those kind of work well, I guess. This time I'm gonna change my position right here, folks, so you can get a better view. Okay, that's actually a good hit. Missed. And yeah, two hits, uh, two hits, two misses. Always the same. Well, Let's try let's try these waffle dip waffle tip darts on other blasters. I've reloaded uh, these four waffle tip darts on my X shot uh, insanity berserko, and let's see if this one works. I forgot I forgot the berserko side picture is not that good, so I'll shoot it with, uh, without sights. Okay, that's hit from my, my blue sleeve. Okay. Okay, that's a. Uh, Second hit. This is the last shot. Okay. Maybe I could have completed those four hits if my aim was good. Let's try this one more time. I not just reloaded uh, four. This time I also reloaded uh, different dart types. Usually the two, two dart types, the waffle tip darts and the air pocket technology darts. Four of four of the X shot ones on the other side, and the four waffle tip darts on the other side. And I'll be shooting the waffle tip darts first. So, let's go. And okay, that's a hit. Another hit. second hit. That's the second hit. Um, mm, that, that counts as a hit. Well, seems like we have three hits and one miss on the action of the circle using the waffle darts. Now, let's go with the, the air pocket technology darts. That's the second hit. Well. Seems like we got ourselves three hits and one miss again. So, yeah, pretty good actually. Uh, seems to share the same issue or the same uh, accuracy as the as the Storm Squad. So, yeah, pretty awesome, I should say. And yeah, that's my firing test on the Dark Zone Storm Squad, and it's a relatively great blaster, I should say. This should this should be the best blaster you can buy. I think it was like maybe less than five dollars in america but here in the philippines it's like around 400 pesos maybe 425 pesos i think to be specific but yeah overall it's a great blaster and uh and i'm really liking it right now especially with the new with the new waffle tip darts i got usually four of them wish i could get a whole 100 pack of it which i have uh mostly in the department store wish i could buy them for my birthday but considering that there is one uh, birthday wish list I have reserved for it. So yeah. Anyways, that's my review on the Dart Zone Storm Squad. Let me know down in the comments below on what do you think of this blaster. And yeah, that's it, folks. And yeah, that's it. Mark out.